In this video tonight, we're going to go from this to this. Now, this is a 90 millimeter GM LS throttle body. Um, the kit is from Performance Racing, so look them up on Facebook or their website and order the kits. Um, you also need a tune from Randy Baker for this to work properly. And if you want to see how it works, check out the rest of the video. So this is the kit that I'm using. It's a pre-made kit for the GM 90mm throttle body. It comes with an adapter spacer, a gasket for your throttle body. Also comes with all the hardware that you'll need in sorted bags that are labeled. So this kit is from Pre-Drag Jetvic. Um, look up Preformance Racing on Facebook. He also sells an ignition coil kit. You also get an appropriately sized boot for your cold air intake to meet up with the throttle body and the clamps that you'll need to clamp that down with. You'll have to purchase your own throttle body separately. You can, this is the adapter that you'll need. So you purchase your throttle body separately. You can get them from Rock Auto or Amazon. This is an AC Delco GM, which is recommended. You'll need a five millimeter Allen for the OEM and aftermarket bolts. Um, a five sixteenths nut driver for your intake removal. I also have a ten millimeter ratchet for my clamps. Step number one: remove your negative battery terminal. Don't drop your socket like that. Next, I'm going to disconnect my MAF sensor. Right there. Next, I'm going to loosen these clamps. And we got to get this undone. You can undo it in a couple of places. So compared to the stock system, this is a pain in the butt to get apart. Um, so what I ended up doing doing was just sliding these off at the back and I'm gonna take the whole thing out just because it's gonna be easier you slide off easily now you can loosen and remove this boot we're not gonna use it if you did have an engine cover you would have removed it first two bolts on the top lift up Pull it off and then remove your engine cover bracket, which are these two bolts. Mine's already off. Then you can take your five millimeter Allen and break these bolts loose. And then remove your throttle body wearing harness, push in the tab here, pull off, and we can remove our bolts. Four bolts are out. Remove our throttle body. Um, what I forgot to do was remove these hoses here. And there will be a little bit of coolant in this throttle body. There shouldn't be very much. You can just see the one hose right there. The other one is right here. Here's a better look. I've slid these clamps back and then I use the pliers just to rotate that on the nipple to loosen it up. 
As you can see, I've already got a throttle body bypass here, the bypass being this valve that I can open and close. Um, we're just going to eliminate that completely with a solid hose from here to here. Okay, with my valve closed here, I didn't have any coolant at all. There's none coming out of this one at the bottom. And you can see your intake. Uh, I'm going to move this screen from here. And we will connect this hose over there. So the screen is part of the gasket. It comes out as one piece. Uh, the tab at the top. I would like to know um, what this actually is for, like a, a real engineering explanation. And no, it's not to straighten air because it will cause turbulence behind it, not straighten the air. So anyways, we're just going to snip it out, put more air through. I've got the screen snipped out and I'm just going to shove this back in without the screen. Because that's what our spacer adapter is going to mate to. Okay, what I've done with the throttle body cool line, just a solid line with a clamp. Probably could shorten it a bit. Might play with that later, but that's basically how you do it. So measurement on the inside of the intake manifold opening. You're getting about 73 millimeters. Back side of our OEM throttle body, we're getting about 70 millimeters. You're losing three millimeters there. Front about 74. Diameter back of the GM throttle body about 90 millimeters. So something that's often left out when we're talking about throttle body size is the size of this bar, which is always going to be blocking the airflow. Um, when the throttle body is fully open so that takes away from the area of airflow through the throttle body so by moving up to a bigger throttle body you're essentially negating that loss so here's a comparison of the areas of th the throttle bodies and we're also going to look at the area of the intake manifold inlet so our diameter then in stock intake manifold is 73 millimeters with an area of 42 centimeters squared and we look at our OEM throttle body which is actually smaller our diameter is only 70 millimeters with an area of 38.5 centimeters squared and we also have this bar that the butterfly is attached to so essentially the butterfly and that has an area of 672 millimeters which makes the area 31.8 centimeters squared so we've got a fair drop off there in the area on um, the GM throttle body total area of 63.6 .6 centimeters squared you have a diameter of 90 millimeters uh, if you minus the area of the bar which is blocking flow you are reduced to 53 so that area is still greater than the OEM so we're definitely ahead of the OEM throttle body it's going to allow for more airflow next up we can bolt our flange to the intake manifold can't decide whether I want those off or not it does fit with them still there Kind of leaving them there just so I don't lose them. Let's get these bolts tightened up. And you can feel them bottom out. So just snug them up after they bottom out. Next in is our gasket. So I'm just going to use one bolt to line everything up and then come back and do the rest with all the washers and lock washers so 
So that one's started. I'm just going to rest it and we'll sit on top of the radiator hose. So bolt number two, I've got the washer and lock washer on. Make sure we get the gasket lined up. It's on loosely. And number three started. Get that in. All right, I'm just gonna take the first one out and get the washer and lock washer on it. Last one's under here, hard to reach. I'll do that one off camera. So tighten those four bolts down in a crisscross pattern. And then we're gonna use our adapter harness. And connect that to the throttle body. And this has a tab, you push the tab in to lock it once it's on. And then connect it to our harness. And I think I'm going to zip tie that somewhere. So in order to get clearance, I had to trim about an inch off of this to bring the throttle body and intake closer together. And I've got a little bit of clearance. We're not touching. If we had the three row radiator, we would have to trim the fan shroud here. Um, so everything's buttoned up. I reconnected my battery and we've got to load the tune. You can load the tune. Um, before you disconnect your old throttle body, the key has to be on, but um, don't run the truck with that tune until you've got it switched, or don't run this throttle body without the tune before you load it up. So I'm gonna go load that up. So with your key on, we're gonna go flash tune file. And I'm gonna pick the 90 millimeter tune. Okay. Okay, ready to go. So two more things we gotta do. We gotta do the throttle valve close position relearn and then the idle air volume relearn. So for the throttle close position, we're just gonna turn the key to on and then off. Wait 20 seconds, sorry, 10 seconds. Listen for the throttle body opening and closing. First time starting my truck after installing the throttle body, um, it wouldn't stay running unless I held the accelerator down. Um, but after a few minutes, it seemed to figure itself out and uh, started idling normally. Um, we had a high idle for a while before we went for a drive. It's high idle now because I just started it again, but uh, it seems to have figured itself out. Now we'll. Uh, just go for a drive make sure the coolant and transmission are up to temp and then we'll do the idle relearn procedure so here's the idle air volume relearn procedure I'm not gonna go through it all I'm just gonna put it on screen here you can pause your screen and uh, hopefully read that now we seem to have picked up a little bit of a whistle with this kit 
but I only notice it when accelerating and not so much when regular driving but if you have the windows rolled down and uh, hit the throttle you can really hear it we'll try to get that on camera millimeter throttle body installed the results are quite impressive so far a um, little bit of an issue just on cold starts one first cold start of the day it um, sometimes fires then stalls sometimes it will fire then catch itself and um, return to normal idle but the truck is running really good with this install and I'm happy with the results so if this video was interesting, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more content. Consider joining to become a member or if any of my videos have helped you save time or money, consider using the super thanks button down below to help out my channel create more videos for you. Thank you.